if you happen to miss the most awaited event of this year don't worry we have got you covered all about apple launch event 2018 in just around seven minutes here we go but before we begin make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay subscribed also hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the amazing video updates on my channel so the first device that got unveiled in the launch event was the iWatch or the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch Series 4 which is the most advanced smartwatch now with improved graphics, 30% wider screen, it's completely redesigned innovation with key focus on three areas. Connectivity, active lifestyle and health. A humble and essential part of human lives, it intends to be an intelligent guardian for your health. The first smartwatch which enables you to take a live electrocardiogram on the go and share it with your doctor too. Packed with a lot of features and new design, 30% larger display, new UI, a digital crown which haptics, faster operating interface, 50% louder speaker, fall detection, emergency services at your fingertips, ECG, cellular, GPS, altimeter, swim proof, Bluetooth 5.0, optical, heart sensor and so many things. It would be available for your order 14 September onwards, starting 399 for the Wi-Fi edition of this and 499 for the cellular series and 239 for the previous Apple 3 series. Then followed by the unveiling of the beautiful and the most powerful iPhone models, the 5.8 inch iPhone XS and the 6.5 inch iPhone XS Max. With Super Retina display, there isn't much of a change in the design from the previous model. But the only way that you can probably differentiate the latest model is by the golden color variant which looks pretty elegant. For the features that this model would have, packs the Dolby Vision Super Clear HDR10. The camera in this has seen a major bump up with 60% greater dynamic range. And the 6.5 inch Super Retina display of iPhone XS Max is a treat to the eye with 3.3 million pixels on screen. The screen on both the models are identical besides the differences in the screen size. The technology aims towards adaptive machine learning and improved AI for better performance. It looks forward to make things for you as personalized as it can be. The incredible photos and the video editing power of the phone is a surprise. Some of the features to start for both the 5.8 inch XS and the 6.5 inch XS Max include LED True Tone Dolby Vision HDR10 display with 3D touch, tap to wake, best color accuracy, wide color support and so on. The power pack sensors on the notch area now hold improved ambient light and proximity sensors. Flood illuminator, IR camera, speaker, microphone, front camera and dot projector for face unlock. They incorporated and improved neural networks on this system now support faster algorithms for a faster secure enclave. The phones have the most secured facial authentication ever on a smartphone. The powerful A12 Bionic is the most advanced chipset which is the first 7 nanometer chip and holds 6.9 billion transistors in that area. It powers a neural engine coupled with 6 core CPU and 4 core GPU. In short, it now has 15% faster performance and 40 to 50% lower power consumption for the functional cores. The smarter computing system of A11 Bionic was capable of 600 billion neural engine operations per second. The latest A12 Bionic can do up to 5 trillion. As a result, it helps you take some stunning images. The back camera of this phone is a 12 megapixel dual camera setup. One with a wide angle camera f1.8 and the other one is a telephoto f2.4 with optical image stabilization and all new sensors. The front camera is a 7 megapixel f2.2 aperture with advanced image sensor and global shutter IR lens which makes the images that stunning along with the best technology to auto process the images in the moment to produce some outstanding results. For moving images, it has a zero shutter lag and shoots multiple frames to capture highlight and shadow details as well. It's first time on a camera that you can adjust the depth of images after they have been taken and the image processing of the new iPhone lets you do so. Behold, because this is the first time that an iPhone has DSDS, dual same, dual standby. You can keep two different numbers and use two different plans on them. So cool and a big thumbs up for that. 
The DSTS would make it possible with the eSIM technology and for certain locations like China, it would also look at dual physical SIM models too. A good news is partners like Airtel and Jio are in sync. So you can look at making the best out of this dual SIM feature in India too. The next iPhone was a budget variant of the lot, the iPhone XR. With so many color variants, approximately 6, has a 6.1 inch LCD liquid retina display where most of the features stand same. The display is a little lower resolution than the previous HDR LED models. Also, the back of this phone has a single camera setup. However, it's powered by the same A12 Bionic chipset and the same sensors and face unlock features at the front. It misses the 3D touch and a couple of other features though. The XR comes in three storage variants, 64GB, 128GB and 256GB, starting $749 and available October 26 onwards, whereas XS starts $999, the XS Plus starts $1099. You can expect these models by September 21st or September 28th in these respective countries. That's all for this one. Please leave a thumbs up if this video was informative for you. Let me know what you feel about the releases in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned and keep participating in life. Cheers.